Acura brings back a familiar nameplate. And no, we're not going back in time because guess what? This bad boy is all electric. The Acura ZDX name makes its shocking return as a mid-sized luxury crossover EV. What was once a sporty fastback coupe-like SUV with an internal combustion engine introduced back in 2010 and only lasted for one generation is now an all-electric SUV that seats up to five. The new ZDX is a collaboration with GM using the Ultium platform, which is also used on the Cadillac Lyric, Chevy Blazer EV, and Honda Prologue, but this is a one-time deal because Acura says in the future they'll be using their own technology. The ZDX is about as long as the Acura MDX but has a longer wheelbase by around 8 inches and sits 3 inches lower. The sleek look is accompanied by the chicane daytime running lights up front and a tastefully sized Acura badge. There's also all types of aerodynamic elements around the exterior to help efficiency like the front fascia's active shutters, special wheels, rear spoiler, and a diffuser. The ZDX comes in two different models, an A-Spec which doesn't have a contrasting black roof option, or our tester, the Type S, which only comes with a black roof. Yeah, the ZDX definitely has its own cool styling cues, and to help elaborate what's cool about it, we have our very own stylish Lynn Woodward. That's style icon to you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm your style icon. I'm sorry. I'm surprised he hasn't changed outfits twice already. <laughs> There's an elephant in the room, and that is the fact that this is long and low. Um, we're getting big time wagon vibes from this. If it were maybe an inch lower, I would say it's definitely a wagon. Um, I think it's an attractive car, but the only thing that I'm gonna say is this. When I get to this area right here, I kind of think uh, that it looks a We'll let the viewers decide what this silhouette looks like. Enjoy. Out back, the ZDX can hold up to 29.7 cubic feet of cargo behind the rear seats and there's also underfloor storage for smaller items. Folding the rear seats is easy thanks to these buttons in the cargo hold, which can yield up to 63 cubic feet of space. And yeah, no, there is no frunk. Eh, it's okay, just throw it in the back. On top of some sharp styling and workable cargo capacity, the ZDX's long wheelbase translates into some good passenger space with easy ingress and egress thanks to a Goldilocks ride height. At 6'4", I can slide into the driver's seat nice and easily, and I have plenty of headroom, some good legroom, and this seat can go pretty far back on its track, so that's good for taller folks. The steering wheel column is electronically adjustable, and you're surrounded by nice soft touch points, especially on your inboard and outboard armrests. And you know I'm a sucker for a red interior, and this doesn't disappoint. The low-mounted battery pack allows comfort to extend to the rear quarters as well. Backseat passengers don't have to compromise rear seat space for style, and three people can be seated across comfortably, granted they're a little bit smaller than I am. Back here, I wish the doors opened up a little bit wider, that way it's easier to get a child seat in place. But space for passengers is great. I still have some great headroom. I have leg room, even though I'm sitting behind my ideal seating position. I'm 6'4", I'm pretty tall, it's pretty far back. And my feet fit under the seat nicely. I even have some sunshades, and this seat has a slight recline to it. And middle seat occupants, they have this indentation in the middle seat, and no tunnel to deal with right here, so there's no hump in the middle. They could get in a nice, comfortable position as well. And I mean, if you're behind someone of average size, you have plenty of space. I mean, along with rear seat vents, USB-C charge ports, and a squishy armrest, yeah, you could get in a nice comfortable position in the rear seats. The cabin of the ZDX looks premium and has a high quality feel. There's an 11 inch driver display and an 11.3 inch infotainment touchscreen ran by Google built in so you have access to Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play. But you can use wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. When you're in the mood for some music, a premium Bang & Olufsen sound system with 18 speakers comes standard. And it may look a little bit familiar because it is being shared on the GM platform, but it looks good. It has that Acura charm and the screens are nice and clear, easy to operate. I don't agree with a couple menu items like the lights being embedded in the infotainment system. 
You have physical knobs and switches for your HVAC controls, but no compartment for your sunglasses. Instead, you can use this storage area down below because your shifter is column mounted. So you have practicality, it looks good, and it feels good. It checks a lot of luxury boxes, this interior. The ZDX has a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack and the base A spec model is able to push out 358 horsepower and 324 pound feet of torque from its standard single motor rear wheel drive setup. Opting for the all wheel drive dual motor powertrain in the A spec will increase output to 490 horsepower and 437 pound feet of torque. And our Type S variant tester has 499 horsepower and 544 pound feet of torque, which is more torque than the NSX. Sheesh! And Acura claims the ZDX is now their most powerful vehicle. And if you're interested in towing, the ZDX has a maximum tow capacity of 3,500 pounds when properly equipped. And you know what we love about EVs, that instant torque. And yes, you can have plenty of fun with the ZDX. 500 horsepower is nothing to be shy about. And I would like to add that the brakes actually feel really nice in the ZDX, even though it's an EV. And there's no dedicated one pedal drive mode, but you can change up the regenerative braking feel via the screen right here on a shortcut, or you can use this paddle mounted on the steering wheel, but uh, I don't really like it. I just switch it off and have a little bit of fun. Oof. The low mounted battery pack gives the ZDX a low center of gravity and the great 50-50 weight distribution helps carve corners. The Type S model includes a standard air suspension which can raise or lower the ZDX and the adaptive dampers can provide a smooth or sporty ride. The air suspension on this ZDX Type S is doing a great job soaking up bumps. It's not too floaty and the ride is really pleasant and the steering is as well. But you do kind of feel the weight of the vehicle, but if you want to change up some driving characteristics and make it a little bit sportier, there is a sport driving mode to the left of the driver. The button is down here. You can choose between normal, individual, snow, and sport. And what sport does is not only lower the suspension a bit, but it also firms up steering a little, firms up suspension, and my favorite part, it pumps in sound. <laughs> and it actually sounds pretty good. So you can drive a little more spiritedly in your uh, luxury EV SUV. <laughs> and this Tesla thinks I'm being a jerk, but I'm not. I'm trying to show you some good sounds, people. <laughs> as far as range, the A-Spec in rear-wheel drive form can achieve up to 313 miles, and the dual-motor all-wheel drive A-Spec taking a ding down to 304 miles. What really takes a ding is the Type S, which only gets 278 miles of range, but thankfully the ZDX can charge up to 190 kilowatts on a DC fast charger and can go from 20 to 80% in around 42 minutes, and can get 72 and 81 additional miles of range on the Type S and A-Spec respectively in about 10 minutes. The cabin of the ZDX is great. It feels premium. The seats are supportive and comfortable and visibility all around is good. And the cabin feels airy despite this high belt line. And there's no noise in the cabin, which is great. Not a lot of squeaks or rattles, not a lot of road noise despite having these large tires. And there's no kids in the back seat screaming they want snackies and nuggies. So yeah, right now, this is a very pleasant experience. All ZDXs have the Acura Watch suite of safety tech standard and includes features like blind spot warning, lane keep assist, automatic emergency braking, rear cross traffic braking, and adaptive cruise control. Exclusive to the Type S is Acura Watch 360 Plus, which includes hands-free cruise, and that may come in clutch on some long commutes. So right now I'm getting on the highway and what better time to test out the hands-free driving. You just activate adaptive cruise control via the button on the steering wheel right here. You set your speed. I'll set it to the speed limit, which is 65. You see your speed limit right here. And to activate hands-free driving, you press the button on the lower left of the steering wheel right here. It lets you know when you're gonna be activated. You see a little blue LED strip right here and it turns green. I think we're good for hands-free driving. We're coming upon a left turn right here. Let's see how it does. 
Hey, not too bad. It's doing some hands-free driving. All right, now the ultimate test is how it feels coming to a stop. So a little farther up ahead, we got a red light. Ugh. Hands-free cruise disengaging. No, 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 you're not. I'm gonna put you back on. Oh, I can't put it back on. Sorry, it's telling me there's no road information for this. So let's just see how it stops with the adaptive cruise control. <laughs> and hands-on driving, coming to a stop, complete. Pricing for a base Acura ZDX A spec starts at $65,850, which does reflect the destination charge and includes 20 inch wheels, LED exterior lighting, leather trim seats with heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, four USB charge ports around the cabin, ambient lighting, and a panoramic sunroof. If you're in need of maximum performance, 22 inch wheels, six piston Brembo front brakes, head up display and heated rear seats, the ZDX Type S starts at $74,850 and performance wheels and tires can be added to the Type S for an extra thousand bucks. If you're in the market for a luxury EV SUV like the Acura ZDX or you're feeling spicy and you want something like the Acura NSX, Go on kbb.com and get a fair purchase price. kbb.com, click the link above for more details. If you're looking at other luxury EV SUVs, check out the aforementioned Cadillac Lyric, Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV, BMW iX, Polestar 3, Audi Q8 e-tron, which has a sportback variant, if that's your jam, and the new Volvo EX90, which has a third row. Ah, Acura ZDX, welcome back. You're an EV now with decent range, performance, space for passengers, a nice interior, lots of tech, and you're bringing that wagony aesthetic. And if all that sounds good for you, check one out for yourself.